Screen printing is a process intensive art form. While it may sound simple to just push ink through a stenciled screen and voila, you got a shirt, there's a lot more artistry and expertise that goes into creating that favorite t-shirt you have hanging in your closet. You know that one we all refuse to give up. One of the most important steps of any decorating technique is preparing your artwork. When it comes to screen printing, proper art setup is absolutely vital for achieving high quality prints. The first step is creating what are called separations. This is where the artist breaks all the colors and the design out into different channels or layers. This allows the artist to output each color to be burned into a screen and put in the correct printing order to achieve the desired effect. During art prep, the artist creates a work order that goes to the screen room. This work order calls out the number of colors in the job, art size, and the desired mesh to use at each screen. This can be dependent on everything from the art and the fabric being printed on to the technique being used. Next, we need to prepare the screens. Screens are generally reclaimed after each job. It is an intensive process where the ink and old emulsion is chemically broken down and removed. The screen is then degreased and dried so it can be coated for use again. After a screen has been dried, it is ready to be coated with emulsion. Emulsion is a light sensitive coating that hardens when it is exposed to light. Screens can be coated at different thicknesses depending on the printing process, but the most important part is evenly coating the screen no matter the thickness needed. The tension of the mesh is extremely important to the printing process. It can make or break the quality of a print. Screens should be measured for tension before every reuse to ensure they are within acceptable tension standards. After the screens have been coated and dried, it is time to create a screen. The art can either be printed to vellum or printed directly to the screen itself. The printed design must be completely opaque so that when it's exposed to light, the emulsion hardens around the artwork. The screens are then exposed to light before they are washed again to remove the emulsion from the stenciled areas of the screen. They are inspected for accuracy, quality, taped off, and then moved to a storage rack for use. Now that we have the screens ready to go, we move on to setting up the equipment. This is a very involved process and must be done correctly to create high quality prints. First, the screens are put on the machine in the correct order, printing from first to last. Where there is a color change or a base screen, a flash unit may need to be put into a station between screens. The flash units partially cure the ink so the next color can be printed without ruining the design. Now let's talk about ink. It's a whole different animal that we're not going to get too deep into, but it's important that you choose the right ink for the fabric you're printing on. Fabrics such as polyester or tri-blends may require a low bleed or a low cure ink. For some nylon fabrics, it may need to mix in a bonding agent as well. After we have selected the correct ink, it's time to mix the colors. This requires a lot of measuring and mixing of different colors and products to get the desired color and feel. Once the ink is mixed, loaded onto the screens, it's time to line up your design. Be sure to consider factors such as alignment, off contact, squeegee angle and pressure, flash intensity, height and time. It's also important to coat your pallets with adhesive to hold the garment while printing. Once the job has been set up, you run a test print, also called a strike off. Adjustments are made and the strike off is sent to the production manager for approval. If any discrepancies are noted, it could require going all the way back to the beginning of the process. If everything is a go, production begins. Production starts by creating your pallets. Now you're ready to load the first garment on the machine. The machine then indexes over to the first screen and another is loaded while that screen is being printed. After the machine makes one full revolution, you can take a fully printed shirt off. Usually two operators work at the machine. One loads and the other offloads the conveyor dryer. The dryer cures the inks and bonds them to the fabric. Dryers are set to a specific temperature and speed to reach the ink's fusion temperature without under or over curing the ink, which could cause cracking, peeling, dye migration, or a number of other weird issues that could happen. If there are heat sensitive trims or fabrics, you may need to lower the heat and increase the time in the dryer's tunnel and possibly add cooling fans coming out of the dryer. On the other side of the dryer are catchers or a catch bin. This team is responsible for taking cured garments off the belt, inspecting for quality and stacking. Many garments require staggered stacking. When garments are pulled off the belt, they still have quite a bit of heat. Depending on the fabric, if you stack these garments, the retained heat can cause all sorts of weird things to happen, from image ghosting and dye migration to discoloration. Once all the shirts are printed, inspected and counted, they may be put into printers full to dozens and boxed, or they may be sent off to be tagged, bagged, stickered and kitted for retail or special events. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into screen printing, and you may be thinking a little bit differently about that favorite t-shirt now. This is truly an art form and requires a tremendous amount of skill and experience to be done well.